New York, an Amtrak passenger train derailed on a bridge over a major highway in Washington state on Monday morning, sending part of the train crashing down onto Interstate 5 and killing several passengers, authorities said. The Associated Press, citing an unnamed U.S. official, reported that at least six people were killed in the crash. Washington Governor Jay Eiley has called a state of emergency in response to the derailment. Authorities say multiple people were killed when an Amtrak passenger train derailed onto Interstate 5 south of Seattle. As Amazon looks to upend the U.S. grocery market with home delivery, some veteran supermarket operators are betting on a different strategy, curbside pickup. At least 26 people are dead in an island province in central Philippines after tropical storm Kaital triggered landslides. Myanmar's leader claims military operations against the Rohingya have ceased, however a new report has found 354 villages have been partially destroyed. Donald Trump's nomination for a federal judge position, Matthew P. Tursit, fails to answer basic questions about his desired profession. An organization established for U.S. President Donald Trump's transition to the White House has said the special counsel investigating allegations of Russian meddling in the 2016 election had obtained tens of thousands of emails unlawfully. Two suicide bombers attacked a packed church in southwestern Pakistan on December 17, killing at least eight people and wounding up to 45. Authorities say multiple people were killed when an Amtrak passenger train derailed onto Interstate 5 south of Seattle. Pierce County Sheriff's spokesman Ed Troyer told news media that there were fatalities on the train and that motorists had been injured, but not killed. A total of 77 people were sent to hospitals in Pierce and Thurston counties, according to Chief Franciscan Health, which operates numerous hospitals in western Washington. Four of the injured are level red patients with critical injuries. Amtrak passenger Chris Carnes told local news outlet Kiro 7 that passengers were forced to kick out train windows in order to escape, because emergency doors were not functioning properly following the derailment. We had just passed the city of DuPont and it seemed like we were going around a curve, Carnes said. All of a sudden, we felt this rocking and creaking noise, and it felt like we were heading down a hill. The next thing we know, were being slammed into the front of our seats, windows are breaking, we stop, and there's water gushing out of the train. People were screaming. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. The derailment occurred on the first day that Amtrak trains began using a new track between the cities of Tacoma and Olympia.